So in this video, we're going to be talking about active recovery days. There's a lot of ways one can do have an active recovery day. It can be as simple as going for a 15 minute walk around the block, walking on the treadmill lightly, biking lightly, stairmaster, uh, a jog. Depending on your physical fitness, there are different types of active recovery. It could be using band for band work, doing some uh, sh like band raises, band curls. You know, another way active recovery that I do is I do pull ups in my ha in my apartment. I do band raises, I do band curls, I do chest band flies. I do band rows, I do dips, so, and there's other ways to do it. And active recovery days are basically, you know, you're just trying to get the blood flowing, trying to break up any lactic acid in your muscle. You don't want the muscles to be tight. So I do highly recommend active recovery days for anybody who trains, you know, four to five times a week. If you're going to be training as well, back to back days, and then you would say you go back, you go weights, weights off. I would say on that you go weights, weights off, and on that off day you active recovery. So if you're training heavy or you're training for a sport, your third day, let's say it's an active recovery day, and that's basically what these videos and workouts are compiled of, are what I do on my third days when I go weights, heavy weights, heavy weights, and then I go active recovery day. And it, it like I said, it varies person to person. You can be someone who's new to fitness or new to working out. And you're only working out two times a week and you're resting, you know, resting, like not doing anything really besides just, you know, your basic day. And then the other two or three days, you could be active recovery where you're walking for 15 minutes or you're riding the bike or you're stretching or you're doing yoga or you're doing something that is active. So when they say active recovery, it's not like, you know, it's not like you're recovering your muscles within that session. No, it's just like you're active and you're not doing the same load that you were doing the day before. Like on my active recovery days, I don't go in and I don't squat front squat for five or six sets and do six or four to six reps of 200 or 195 pounds. No, that, that would make no sense. That's not an active recovery day. That's basically just me working out like a normal day. So an active recovery day is basically taking your load and your, you know, your working volume and just cutting it down a lot. So you can honestly, like say you, you, your workout revolves around, you say you do a, a front squat, a Roman deadlift, a bench press, um, a one arm shoulder press, uh, ab rollouts, step ups, plyometric box jumps, say you do those movements and on your active recovery days, say you do all those movements for three to four sets. And on active recovery days, you would do one to two set of every single one of those movements, that could technically be considered an active recovery day. You know, you may find yourself a little bit more sore than usual, but an active recovery day is highly, highly recommended for anybody and especially sports, sport athletes and uh, sport players and, you know, high performance athletes and um, high level athletes like professional athletes. It would, it is highly recommended to do something on a day that, you know, you're not lifting weights or you're not doing your normal working volume. So I would highly recommend if you aren't throwing in active recovery days in your regimen, get to it, try and get in, in into the gym on uh, your off days and just try and do something. Say you want to work on, you know, say you've been really dying to work on a uh, overhead squat and that's what I, that's what's in the video, the first movement. I'm dying to get better on an overhead squat. So on my active recovery days, typically I do an overhead squat because I really want to get better on it or say like, you know, you're you're not squatting right now or you're uh, you're not front squatting. So on your active recovery day, you just go in and you front squat the bar or you front squat kettlebells or you front squat um, dumbbells, whatever it may be, or you go in and you just do a hack squat. So it, it's stuff like that, whatever you want to get better at. So you want to get better at a bench press. You just, you did five sets the day before, don't bench again. And then at, on your active recovery day, you'll do two sets. And you'll do just really focus on the movement and focusing on the form, focus on where you're going to feel the muscle and making sure you're doing it right instead of just trying to push out that goal of number of sets and reps you're trying to do. So on your active recoveries, don't uh, like I, I typically don't have a plan. I usually always do an overhead squat and then a landmine press. But don't go into your active recovery days with the goal of, all right, I got to do X sets for X reps. Go in, see what your body can handle. Listen to your body, don't over push, don't overextend, and just try and get in, break up some lactic acid, get the blood flowing, get your muscles going, 
and make it an active recovery day. And I can guarantee you, you'll see a lot quicker recovery and a lot better recovery and better performance when you go in and you lift the next day heavy weights. Thanks for listening to the show. Um, if you haven't heard already, I did uh, launch my podcast, Lead by Example Hockey Training Podcast. We're going to be releasing episodes every Monday morning You know, on Spotify and Stitcher, on iTunes. It's going to be on Tuesday or Wednesdays, depending on the approval process. Thanks for listening. Appreciate it. See everyone soon.